Hi, I'm going to take you through download a file to Google Drive step. It's a brand new step in the Axiom Builder. I'm Alex Barlow, co-founder of Axiom. Let's dive in. First of all, this is a, a recent addition and it's really good because it allows you to move files around in the cloud before you used, had to use the desktop runner to download files. So that's a great change in Axiom. Another reason I think this is really useful is because you can sync with your Google Drive folders on any co computer, which is really handy. So it means if you run your automation in the cloud, you can find that file on your desktop in your synced folder. That's pretty awesome. But in this video, I'm just gonna show you quickly how you can use this step. So first of all, you'll see that I've got Axiom open. I've got the downloaded file to Google Drive step open. First thing you need to do is select the file you want to download. Now that could be any old file, a doc, a PDF, or an image. So I'm gonna select the image, it's point and click. Before I press complete, I'm gonna click on custom and just show you that there are ways to pick custom selectors and interact and find your own custom selector. You can also use um, data and share selectors from Google Sheets if that's how you want to do it. I'm not gonna dive in too deep, deeply here because we've got other tutorials for this. I'm just gonna keep going and press complete. Okay, next up, you need to insert the URL to that Google Drive you want to write the file to. That's pretty easy. Let me just take you into Google Drive and I'm just gonna show you here. I'm gonna select public images in my drive and I'm going to right click. I'm gonna click share and copy the link. I've now got that URL and I'm just gonna paste it straight into there. That's simple, that's done. Now you'll see we've got two options left, file name, force download. First, the file name. Now you can just type a file name in here. By the way, Axiom will add a 01, a 02, a 03 if you're going to copy multiple matching file names, etc. or we'll loop through this automation in any way. Um, so you can hard code the file name in here, my file, for example and just leave it like that. You can of course leave it blank to keep the same file name or you can insert data. Inserting data will allow you to take the file name from a Google Sheet, a row that you have the file name in, in, in from a specific column if you want or if you're passing data from Zapier or Webhook, you can also do that. Now, some files, um, when you try and open them, they don't download. That's usually when you haven't got a download link in, in the actual link to that file or the system's preventing you somehow. And you can try this force download option. Now it works about 90 to 80% of the time it will solve that problem. So give it a go if you need to do that. Awesome. That's the um, new download a file to Google Drive step. I hope you find it useful. Thank you for trying Axiom.